In this video, we're going to talk about trial balances. So first off, what is a trial balance? A trial balance lists all accounts with their balances, assets first, then liabilities, and stockholders' equity. The trial balance summarizes all the account balances to the financial statements and shows whether total debits equal total credits. A trial balance may be prepared at any time, but the most common time is at the end of the period. The trial balance can help with preparation of the financial statements, uh, but its main purpose, at least this initial one, is to show that double debits equal credits. A trial balance is not a financial statement. Now just a word about normal balances. All accounts have a normal balance, and that's what it would normally have a debit or a credit balance based on the account classification. So what you have on the screen here is a debit credit table. It tells you to increase an asset, you would debit it. To decrease an asset, you would credit it. Liabilities, you credit to increase. Liabilities, you debit to decrease, so on. But when we talk about normal balances, normal balances are whatever it takes to increase that account is what that account's normal balance is. So assets have a normal debit balance. Liabilities have a normal credit balance and so on. This isn't to say that accounts ha can't have the other balance, but this is where we would normally expect the balances to be. Okay, now on a trial balance, we have a listing, as we said, of all accounts, starting with assets, liabilities, equity, then our revenue and our expense account. Let's look at Black Squirrel Ventures trial balance. This is not a financial statement, for Black Squirrel, it is just a listing of all their account balances by debit or credit. We have a debit column and we have a credit column. And within assets, cash is always first. Assets and liabilities are listed in order of liquidity. Those items closest to being cash or being used up or being due first are listed first. Then we list stockholders' equity accounts followed by revenues and finally expenses. Accounts are listed in whichever column according to their balance. Debit balance columns are in the left column, while accounts with credit balances are in the credit column. Notice at the bottom that we have totaled the debit column and we have totaled the credit column, and those total debits are equal to total credits. The purpose of the trial balance is to make sure that debits equal credits after all the account postings. The trial balance, again, is not a financial statement. Do know it has to be in order, and this order that you're looking at here is a pretty good order to use as a basis for future trial balances. Now, we are going to use this trial balance now to calculate some numbers. We're going to calculate current assets, total assets, current liabilities, total liabilities, net income, ending retained earnings, and total stockholders equity. So let's calculate Black Squirrel's current assets. So let's look at the trial balance. Current assets, we're going to add cash and cash equivalents, accounts receivable, uh, inventories, and other current assets. Those are the current assets. So we add those up and we get that total. We can also use it to calculate total assets. So looking at the trial balance, we're going to circle all the accounts that are total assets. We would add all those accounts up to get total assets. So that would be cash, accounts receivable, inventories, other current assets, property, plant, and equipment, and other long-term assets. We can calculate current liabilities. Current liabilities, we're going to look through our list. We see accounts payable, current portion of long-term debt, and other current liabilities, so we add those. We can also get total liabilities. Again, you see them all listed in order, so we can just going to pick our liabilities accounts there and add those up to get our total liabilities. Next up, we get net income. Net income, um, we can calculate. It takes a little more work, what we're going to do is we're going to take sales revenue and then we're going to subtract cost of sales, subtract operating expenses, subtract interest expense, and subtract income tax expense. And we see that because they're on opposite sides of the trial balance columns. 
We can also calculate ending retained earnings. To do that, what we're going to do is we're going to take our beginning retained earnings and then we're going to add our net income, which we just calculated in the prior step, subtract dividends, and we get our ending retained earnings balance. And then next up, we can calculate our total stockholders equity. Total stockholders equity, what we're going to do here is we're going to add all the stockholders equity accounts. Um, even though revenues and expenses are not stockholders equity accounts, they do, they do end up being closed into retained earnings. So that's why they are added in here. So that's it on this trial balance video. Have a great day.